Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can use an analog gauge with your Arduino board. Now for this demonstration I just simply have a potentiometer hooked up to analog pin 1 on the Arduino board. But um, you could use also um, a phototransistor photoresistor, something like if you wanted to make a light meter and have the value of how much light show up on a meter or if you had like a water level gauge set up you could display that on there just for purposes where you wouldn't necessarily need an LCD screen which um, they are much much more expensive than uh, an analog meter gauge um, these you can get out of old electronics or um, you can go online and they're like a dollar, two dollars. But um, I've got a pile of these that I've robbed out of old electronics and an LCD screen is going to cost you like seven dollars plus. And you might, you know, not need to know the exact number, just a relative, relative value of it and that's what this will show you and I will show you here if I turn my potentiometer you can see the gauge is moving now when it gets down close to the end you notice I can turn this about an eighth of a turn yet and nothing shows that's because the meter does need a certain amount of voltage before it will actually move and I have the sketch set up on uh, this to go from the minimum to maximum so as you can see it's working there um, now over here I've got a uh, 5 volt voltage regulator set up to power the board you might not need this the reason I had it on there is to uh, test the gauge to find out what you know the maximum voltage to, to peg the meter you see I got it turned all the way up um, it's not going to need 5 volts to peg it um, 5 volts actually if you put that on here for an extended period of time would probably burn this out so what I did is I used the uh, the voltage regulator here the 5 volts and then I started out with like a one mega ohm resistor and I just you know hooked the meter to the ground and then put the resistor between that and the positive lead and uh, just went from one mag and that didn't even move the meter so then I went down to something smaller I think the next I did was like uh, half a mag a 500k and that didn't really move it and I just worked my way down and I finally came out that uh, for this particular meter uh, 200 and or no excuse me uh, 22 K ohm resistor when the voltage was at its highest just pegged it a little just a little more voltage than it needed and that's not going to hurt the meter you can see I'm that's about how much I get after it's pegged so just um, hook something up like that or you can just put my sketch in and just start with um, a bigger value resistor and work your way down but before I wrote the sketch up that's what I did and I just left this hooked up to power it it uh, worked and I didn't have to run it to my computer to power it while I was doing this tutorial now um, in the sketch I have what digital pin is that? I think yeah digital pin 3 because you want to have it on a pulse width modification pin and uh, it's like pin 3, 5, 9, 10 I can't remember offhand which um, what all the digital pins are but this will need to be hooked up to a pulse width modification pin um, with that there ain't really much else to go over um, like I said this could be very handy if you just needed a relative knowledge of you know what the value is you can use one of these and it'll work perfect for you 
then you don't have to spend the seven to twelve dollars for a little LCD screen and this will also use less power than an LCD screen so if this is something that was running off batteries this would be the way to go and you could just simply make a cutout on a piece of paper print it out and then have you know some gauge lines up above or if you were careful you could open the gauge up and this one has that little yellow and black background you could take that out print up your own put it in there glue it down and put it back together <clears throat> and you'd be good to go and like i said these can be gotten out of lots of different items i'll show you another one here i've got a uh, voltmeter it actually don't work anymore it's just a little cheesy ten dollar unclaimed freight or harbor freight i mean these are cheap and the meter doesn't or the device itself don't work but i checked and the meter still works and there's lots of applications for using this um for the uh the sketch for the arduino board uh, just click in the link below. There's a link um, to bring you to my website, and I'll have that there for you. And you can just copy and paste it right in your Arduino IDE. Um, I'm not going to make a schematic for this because it's not really any point to. Um, like I said, you just hook the, uh, the meter to one of your pulse width modification pins and then you hook your potentiometer or whatever you're hooking up to one of your analog pins and I mean I'm sure you're not going to make this project just to use a potentiometer to turn it up and down but if you wanted to play around experiment with it and see how it worked first before you added this to your project you could do this and like I said um, I mean you could make a light meter and have the gauge show the light strength or if you had a water level you could use this and then you don't have to use the lcd screen so with that i think we'll wrap this tutorial up and uh just remember go to the website and um i will also have a written out description tutorial about all this if you found this video helpful please give me a thumbs up i would appreciate it so, thanks for joining us here at the Z-Hut. Hope to see you again.